Creating a scenario in History in Motion. To create a scenario, begin by clicking New Scenario. You can then enter a title for the scenario of up to 40 characters. You can then change the copyright. It's simply a text field. And then choose the default era. This will matter if most of your events or all of your events are in one era or the other. In our case, it's a 19th century scenario, so they'll all be in the common era, so we just leave it. The default time zone really only matters if you're doing a 20th century scenario, which spans multiple time zones. That's not the case here. Again, it's a 19th century scenario, so we can just simply leave it as universal time, otherwise known as Greenwich Mean Time. In the beta version of History in Motion, you could ignore the copy this scenario checkbox and the user to copy from. So at this point, click Create, and now History in Motion shows you a map of the world. At this point, you can either zoom in on a particular area of the map, or if you want to use a historical map, now is the time to choose that. So let's choose United States 1833, and we see that History in Motion inserts the map at the appropriate location. Now, regardless of whether you've chosen a historical map or a current day uh, map, you can now zoom and move the map to get a view of how you want the map to look when the scenario is opened uh, in the future. So in this case, Grant went from his hometown of Georgetown, Ohio, on the Ohio River, right about here, through what was then Virginia, then Pennsylvania, and up here to West Point, which is approximately over here. So this is a good enough view of the map for when the scenario is opened in the future. When we explore the scenario in detail and create events and so on, we can change the view of the map, but this is good enough for when the map opens. So at this point, let's click OK to create the scenario, and we see the name of the scenario up here in the box.